Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews and today we're having a, a heavy metal Christmas. So guys, I have been so excited to receive this and it came today uh, and I'm so excited and I've, I've even said to Misha and Kyle, it's came and I'm so excited. So guys, this is the occult Christmas box. I paid £20 for it. And then I paid my postage on top. Um, I did pay for this in November and I, I was well aware that I wouldn't get it until sometime in December and I wasn't bothered because I wanted this for the purpose of my Christmas um, complete set. I've tried to just do my own thing for the Christmas thing on my channel. I've not, I've not kind of followed everybody else's footsteps. I've tried to just do content that I think well, I've just done content that I've bought basically, what I've bought for Christmas. Um, and, and this is just one of the things that I thought would be really good for you guys to see. I know it's too late now to go ahead and buy it because obviously they've stopped doing them now. But it gives you an inclination what you'd get next year if you did decide to do the occult Christmas box. Um, they did do the Christmas stocking as well. And I'm not joking guys, it's super heavy. I haven't peaked at all. But I love this bloody bag. Look at it, guys. I know I have got um, I have got a school one upstairs, and um, my dad got them. I think he got them from Bottoms Mill, which is in a previous video. I love this. I'm going to keep this. I mean, here is the occult logo, which I love, and here is the label to the bag, and she's not wrote in it. So you could reuse this again, guys. That's the whole idea of it. Do you think I'm going to give this to anybody for Christmas? Hell no. It's mine. It's staying mine. So guys, I don't know what's in it, but let's get cracking into it. And if anybody else has got the Christmas occult box, I hope you're feeling as happy as I am. Guys, I'm sorry, but this bloody art's got to come off. I've just got a really fat head. It don't fit my head. I do try to keep it on, but nah. My, I'm having a really bad hair day, guys. Because I've been out all day, my hair is really, really wavy. And as you can see, I have got natural curly hair, so the wave just come in. Right, so the first thing I can see in this wonderful bag, yum, 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 is a sugar candy cane. Now, I know Zach will want this because he sucks them to death. But I don't ever want to share this one. So, guys, this is vegetarian as well. It has a big V on it telling you. And how... Mmm, smells like peppermint, smells lovely. So that is my first Christmassy item that I've got in there. And um, I'm just overexcited. She did wrap this really, really well, guys. There was all bubble wrap in here. I've took it all out. And the bubble wrap, it's like a whole sheet. So I've reused it for parcels that I've been sending. So thanks for that, Misha. <laughs> so, oh, and there's some black tissue paper in here. Oh, what is <laughs> so excited. So here we have the striper bags that you normally get when you have the um, subscription bag. As you know, I've not got any subscriptions at the minute and that's not anything to do with a cult. That's because come next year, I need to sort out my finances for the first month or so. And then I'm going to dive back into boxes that I feel um, I enjoyed the most. And um, I did like trick or treat and I did, I've not had trick or treat for as long as I've had a cult, but I love a cult box. So I'm going to carry on with my cult box. And then I'm, I'm thinking of having the bolt on for the um, trick or treat. Because I think I prefer to have the t-shirt. Talking of t-shirts, guys. I've actually got my my Nightmare Before Christmas on. I checked the receipt. It wasn't $9.99. It was $8.99. So I may go back and get the others if they come up with a reduced price like this one did. So, <gasps> is that a skull? Oh! <gasps> OMG! Oh my god! I didn't see these at Bottoms Mill. I was looking for some gothic Christmas decorations. Guys, look at him! He's a little skull with a Christmas hat on. I'm surprised he's got a red hat on actually. I thought it might be black. But how cute is that? I love it. Guys, there's some bloody weight in that, I tell you. So I may put that at the bottom of the tree because I don't want it to break. And it's got the Alata Al Al Giftware. So this is actually been bought in a gift shop, not without a doubt. And these wouldn't have been cheap, guys. Let me tell you, this box was £20. You're probably talking about four ninety nine just for that. I know, because I go in Bottoms Mill a lot and they normally do things like this. I just can't find any this year. I find the pens and stuff and the pens were like 3 99 
I love that. So that is my second item. So I've got a sugar cane and I've got a little Santa with a hat, skeleton, skull, Christmas decoration. <laughs> so she put some tissue paper in here that can be reused. I reuse everything. I don't see why I shouldn't, you know, waste not, want not. <gasps> oh, there's so many things in here. So next thing is a little black box. Oh, it feels like Christmas. It is Christmas, Rachel. Not I me. Mean, I mean, it feels like Christmas Day for me. Oh, I can see a little. <gasps> Are you joking me? Is that what I think it is? That... <gasps> OMG, it's a Jack Skelly. <gasps> I can clip. I can actually clip my phone to that. And I can actually, I can actually click my GoPro. I've got a little thing, a little case for it. It's got a little clip. <gasps> I can put it around my neck. Oh my God. And I've got the t-shirt on as well. So how cool does that look? Oh, I love it. I've never seen things like this before. I love how she's put things like this in that box, but it leaves you thinking, what is it? Oh, look at it. I've got nothing to stick on in a minute. So it's just like dangling there. Yeah, thank you guys. I like this box as well. If I hadn't been prepared for Christmas, there's a couple of things I could have put in there, like a necklace and stuff. I could keep that. I keep everything, guys. Right, next thing that's in here. Oh, and gee, how cute are them? <laughs> They're so cute. So, right, guys, it says Merry Gothmer Seasons Creeping Creepings from Misha and Kyle a cult box oh that is brilliant and it says designed online and printed for free at www.banana slash print.co.uk fantastic it's just the little touches like this that Misha and Kyle do that make like a cult box so unique it's just things like this I mean not a lot of people appreciate things like this but I think things like this is really really good it's attention to detail and I like attention to detail. And with that, it says ginger, ginger dead men. So I, oh, the wax melts. Oh, oh, I thought they were like biscuits. I was like, oh, wow, even better. Oh my God, how goddamn cute are they? And the card as well. And it says, oh, these are handmade guys. I'm gonna be real, really gentle with these because I don't want them to break. Oh my God, so guys, it says, handmade gingerbread scented soy wax melts for use in wax warms or oil burners. Vegan friendly, <laughs> do not eat. It's a good job that they put this card in because I would have took a right big chunk out of them. Keep out of the reach of children and pets. Yep, I remove all outer packaging before use, place inappropriate wax melter and so forth. Fantastic, what a nice little treat. Guys, this is amazing, really is amazing. So we've got a candy cane, we've got a skull with a Christmas hat on decoration. I mean, I'm happy, or I'm just happy already. And then we've got these two cute, I mean, I normally get my wax melts um, from Bubba's Melties or I used to get them from Yankee quite a lot, but I, I kind of like the alternative wax melts, but how <laughs> good of them i love it so that is my third item guys and then i have a little baggie which has got my badge in let's take that out and have a look right so oh i'm so glad they put something like this in guys because i received i think um i don't know if it's from a cult box or it's from trick or treat I think it was from a coat box actually, it was in one of the bags. I got like a bracelet like this kind of bracelet with a little skull on it. Oh, this has got, it's got a little, it's got a little candy cane. So it's got a little candy cane, it's got a little skull. But you see the little skull that's on the end there? The bracelet that I've got has got that on the end. So now I've got like the set, if that makes sense. So I've got this and I've got the bracelet so I can wear them together. Oh, obviously this has got the candy cane on it as well, but it has still got the skull on it. Oh, I like that. I like that as well because it won't irritate me too much. I know it's the, the, the crab clasp. You're not gonna get clasps like um, Scarlet and Chains anywhere else but Scarlet and Chains. 
Oh, yeah. So I've got another bag to put in my bag, and it says Silent Fright. Silent Fright. I love it, and it's got a pentagram and a bauble. <laughs> That's what I really want to get next year. I want to get some baubles with that pentagrams on and stuff and some skulls on. So one, two, three. That was my fourth item, guys. And I'm I'm just, you've already had your money's worth way, way, without a doubt. Because then wax melts will probably cost four ninety nine as well. If you're looking at it. So maybe 10, you're probably talking about 15 pound. I don't know why I'm pricing it up because it's well worth it. And then, <laughs> yay, I've already got one, but it's too bloody small on my head. I bet this one, <gasps> this one fits me better. Share that out. There you go, Misha and Kyle, you found me a hat that fits on my head. I bet you guys are laughing at me going, Rachel, it's the wrong way around. I know it's the wrong way around. I just couldn't be bothered taking it back off again. Do, 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 do. It feels like Halloween again, guys. I'm so excitable. I'm so I'm like a little girl, aren't I? I'm just so excitable. You want to see me on Christmas Day, guys? I'm terrible. I've not actually got that many presents to open this year because obviously I had cash this year, so I've I've kind of just like spent it all. So I got a Christmas hat. This is bloody heavy. Oh, get out! I got a bloody big candle. It says, have yourself a spooky little Christmas. Oh, you see, you know, they've done all this themselves. And, you know, well done to you both. It's amazing. And it's red. And it'll go in my living room. And I'll bloody burn it tonight. I'll take a photo and I will show Misha and Kyle that I appreciate what they've done. Oh, I love it. So, guys, I can see what this is. And I'm really excited to see what it is. Uh, I've seen this in previous ones. So my last item is massive. And there's my bag. Absolutely love it. I'm going to put everything back in this bag and take a photo. So guys, I'm forgetting I've got the thing around my neck as well. So I'm going to do a recap in a minute, guys. I'm just put this back in here because I want to show you guys that for £20, you really do get your money's worth without a shadow of a doubt. Um... I've never had the Christmas occult box before because obviously I never knew such boxes like occult and box of goth and trick or treat and horror boxes and all that alternative box. I never knew they existed until like, I can't even remember who I seen opening the occult box. I don't know if it was, um, I don't know if it was Mama Goth or it was Luna Lily. I can't remember. I seen one of them opening it and I was like, <laughs> I want one of them. So guys, as you know, I've just, just yesterday bought um, a Jack Skeleton mug to add to my mug collection. So far, I've got my Witch's Brew Cup. I've got my um, Aurora Skull Cup from Killstar. I've got my Cauldron Cup that Alicia got me. Um, I got my Jack Skeleton cup now, and I do have another Gothic cup that I don't use. Oh, I've got a Skull cup that um, Leanne Beauty Hunter got me. I cannot wait to get my hands in this. It's quite a bloody heavy cup, guys. I will say that. But look at the box, guys. So it says Jingle Bombs. <laughs> now I know that. Um, oh, Jean's got this box as well. Pink Poodle. Mm, completely went blank then. Pink Poodle's got this box as well, this bag, and I bet she'll be just as excited as I am to receive it. So guys, let's crack it open. Ah, oh, I love this box. I'm gonna keep the box, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I keep everything me. All my boxes for my fairies are all in my loft. I don't get rid of them. <gasps> oh my God. Size of this cup, man. I love it. <laughs> Look at that. It's a proper proper pot cup. Look at that, guys. I could have a serious bloody lie in that. Look. <laughs> so, guys, if you want to see this cup featured in next videos, let me know. Now, this is going to be a Christmas cup, obviously, so I will put this away um, so it don't get broke or anything. Oh, but how good is that? How good is that? So, guys... Uh, let's do a recap <laughs> guys as well I can have a gingerbread coffee 
In my school cup. I bet Misha is sat there laughing her heads off. Yes, I'm like a little girl, but it's a bloody skull. So let's recap and then let's just wrap this up. So um, I got a skull cup with a Christmas hat on. <laughs> and then with that, we got this ornament. Oh, this is just fantastic. I'm trying not to swear. I'm just, I'm going to put that back in the box, guys. I'm going to show my husband this. I'm going to pack it back up because I'm going to take some pictures. I always take pictures of my boxes. I think it's nice to show a bit of appreciation um, and just to show them that it's here, it's in one piece and we're happy and that's that's the main thing. My husband will want to get his hands on that, I bet you. That is a proper good bloody cup. Now, I just paid 15 99 for my Jack Skeleton cup and guys, it's not even the size of my hand. That is massive. So, recap. Let's put back in the box as we recap. So we got... A skull mug with a Christmas hat on. Very, very good. And then we got this. Um, I can't smell it. I don't think there's any scent to it, guys, but I'll know more. I've got a bit of a blocked up nose. Um, and then we got this candle in red, and it has Have Yourself a Spooky Christmas. Absolutely fantastic. And again, it's personal touch. I like supporting small businesses, I like supporting people that do give their all when it comes to stuff like this. You know what I mean? We've all got to try and make a bit of bread money at the end of the day, so fantastic. So we also got the um, gingerbread, ginger dead men, soy wax melt, so that's two. And that, three. Then we got the Jack Skeleton, which I'm not gonna pull it back out again, but it's the the phone hanger or camera, or whatever you wanna hang on that, you wanna hang a big sugar dummy on there. Hang a big sugar dummy on there. So that was that one, guys. So that was my fourth item. And then I got my necklace and badge, which is my fifth item. And then I got my little candy cane. That's my sixth. And then I got my decoration, which is not bloody cheap, guys. I know, because I am a school collector. I know how much schools are, and they're not cheap, guys, I will admit. So that's that as well guys and then we've got our beautiful card that says merry gothmer season's greetings from misha and kyle from a cult box so guys if you've never heard of a cult box i will pop all the details down below in the description box go and read it go and check it out i don't know if you guys ever read anything in the description but i'm a bit of a detailer so i do put a description of what you're watching and where you can get it from and so forth and so forth so please go and check out a cult box i think they'll be wrapping up soon for christmas period and they'll be having some time for themselves and well earned i must say but um i love it and as you know i also got a christmas card i was going to show you but it's in there i actually got a christmas card for misha and kyle as well and i also got a get well card when i had my operation so do you know what amazing i love a cult box i think you've got you've got me You've got me for the longest time, I think. I mean, you can never have too much skulls, but look at the bag, it's amazing. Everything in this bag details everything on the front of this bag. And I'm just absolutely amazed. So that is it, guys. That is my occult box for Christmas 2019. I will definitely be there by next year's. And I'll be back in February, around about February time uh, with my, I think I may just jump into a mystery box at the end of January. And then into February, I will start my subscription box with a cult. So be sure to stay on my channel if you want to see more occult boxes and trick-or-treat boxes, which will be coming back as well. All right, guys, and this is my T-shirt. I thought this was an this is an extra large T-shirt, but what I didn't read is it was a skinny T-shirt. So let me just show you. This is what it looks like, guys. It's very nice. It's very fitting. And I love it. Oh yeah, I got my hat as well, guys. I nearly forgot, I've got it on my friggin' head. And the hat as well, so there you go. Thank you, Misha, thank you, Kyle, and Merry Christmas to all of you at Occult. Um, I'm gonna try and get a Christmas card sent out to you. Try, 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 it means I have to go to the post office, but I'll do my best. All right, guys, take care of yourself, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now, and a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Occult Box. Bye for now.